knows how many other millions of children and families that would have been birthed by those who were aborted. But we're not looking to the past and condemning. We're looking to the future, and we are proclaiming. We're decreeing. We are declaring state by state the influence of righteousness in this matter. We release our authority. You said it is within our right, within our authority to influence current events, things that are happening in the earth. And so right now, right here, today, in this moment, we do that. We release our authority. We release our influence. And we say, thus far, you've gone, but no further. 50 years of this. And now it's stopped, it's changed, it's overturned, it's pushed back, and state by state. It's like, it's like a veil being ripped from the, the eyes those blinders being stripped off, those blinders that were darkening the enlightened understanding of so many. And they'll see, wait a second, this was not just a so-called but this was actually how many nations are there in the earth, Father, that don't, do not have 63 million citizens? Entire nations were aborted, and not only in this country, but in other countries. Well, Father, that happened in the Old Testament when they would abort children, they would sacrifice children. But we're standing against that in the name of Jesus. What else, Father? What else, Father? Give us utterance, Father, and boldness in that utterance. Utterance not only as we pray in the spirit, but utterance in our language, our known language as well. But Father, I sense, and I, I sense it, I see it, I hear it. Not only do you want us to pray in the spirit, but you want us to receive more utterance, clarity, and accuracy, even as we pray in the spirit. Even as children learn how to speak and articulate things in the language in, in which they are instructed, we can be instructed in the language of the kingdom, the language of faith. We can be instructed in the language that articulates these mysteries in different and better ways, better patterns. We're not limited to just one small stream of praying in the Holy Ghost, but we can have an expanded capacity. And so I'm asking you to give us in this church, give us an expanded capacity to pray in the spirit, to have different diverse tongues and languages that are expressed, that are released, that are uttered as we pray in Jesus name. And it might sound like this language, but then it might sound like another language shortly thereafter. And there may be dialects within those languages, Father, that we're uttering. And the code cannot be broken. The code cannot be cracked by the forces of darkness. Lord, 
Mondra Dandra Bari Yasekotara Begetra Nandra Kitara Begetra Bapodra. And when you pray in the spirit, you're taking the limits off of me, says the Lord. Sondra Mandra Mandra Mandra. Boundaries and, and confinements that held you down, held you back, they are expanded, they're pushed out. And so the boundaries, the limitations are moved. The the tent stakes are enlarged and enlarging the the area of your habitation in the realm of the spirit and in your place in the kingdom you're expanding that role you're expanding the influence you're expanding the expectation of it every time you pray in the spirit and so you'll hear a word here and you'll hear a word there and every time you pray it out you say it out you're expanding your comprehension you're expanding your capacity you're expanding your areas of habitation and influence you're expanding your spheres of influence every time, every time. Kiandre Bailey, Siatra Mandro, Odre Yas, Sokodre Miandre, Lebato Gutre, Botre Andre Bali, Sakodre Miandre, Badre Mandro Bari, a Sokodre, Todre Mandra Maria Sokodre, Begetre Begura Bandre. And there was a thing that was at one time hard, but now it's simple. How did that happen? Because you grew. Well, every time you pray in the spirit, you're growing. You're making things that once were more difficult, less difficult. You're in light. The eyes of your understanding are being enlightened. Now and you are in the beginning the beginning stages of mantles the beginning stages of mantles there are mantles that were assigned to those in this church uh, but the but some have rejected them and some left and never even knew that they were available to them. But I'm restoring those mantles. So go to the and I'm drawing in people. I'm drawing in people. I'm drawing in people, drawing in people who are so go to the mantle. Now not immediately. No, no, no. So go to the But in time, in process of time, these mantles that were assigned, uh the they will be received. And it think, they quote the mantra, think it not a strange thing if I assign mantles that once were seen on mighty men and mighty women of, of God in times past. Some of those mantles have been assumed by some, and you'll know their names if names were called. But some of those mantles that were never fully developed under the great woman of God and the great man of God that you would recognize. I'm reassembling and reassessing and reasserting and releasing those mantles once again. Yandra Miandra Badra Bili Basutor Mandra Barimber Begedra Bandre Mondra Mali Sokodre Yakandra Mandra Bedra Kodra Malia Sokodra Begedra Mandro Kodra Bayimber Begandra Mantle Sokodra Mandra Bendra Balia Sokodra Begedra and Komandra Mandra Bedra Balia Sokodra Begadra Mandre there will be bystanders and onlookers who will say, how did that happen to you so quickly? How did you adapt to that so quickly? How did you come to know and understand and flow in that so quickly? 
And your only answer can be, it's the mantle of the Lord that came upon me. I yielded to it, and he showed me. He taught me things. He accelerated things. Things I didn't know or understand before. In a moment, in an instant of time, I came to understand those things. That'll be your testimony. That will be your testimony. And that with the, which the enemy thought to snatch from your heart and from your life, oh, he has been caught. He has been found out, and so sevenfold return and restoration is yours. The sevenfold restoration and return is yours. 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 And so it has been uttered, it has been declared seven times in just as they walked around the walls of Jericho seven times and said nothing on the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time, but on the seventh time. They raised up a voice and a shout, and the trumpets blew, and the walls came falling, tumbling down. And so now all of the landscape was changed because mantles had fallen, things had been restored, walls were demolished, and boundaries were increased, and things changed. Things changed. And so they changed for you. So they changed for you. So they changed for you. So they change 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 for you. So Gramendra Maria Sigur Gramendra Mount Rebetra. Caramount Gramendra Maria Sigur Gramendra Bad Rebet Gramand Rigodra. Contra men grabaria se cota de bigot grabar in barbigot 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 so Tormand Rabarim Marbiant Rabarim Marbiant Rabant Rabiat Rokod Rabaria Sigot Rabiat Kid Ramand Rabat Rabant Rokod Rabaria Rokod Rabiant Rokod Rabiant 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 And so thick walls try to stop you. Thick walls try to sur surround you, encumber you. Rokod Rabiant Rabiant Rabaria Sigot Rabiant Rabiant But this mark of seven this walk of seven, this movement of seven. Yeah. It will take things down, take them down to the ground. Yeah. Now, Father, we would be remiss if we did not assert our rights for household salvation. Household salvation for not only those of us who are present, but those who are part of our church. Household salvation. Oh, the 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 certainty and the finality of eternal damnation uh, for those who are already present. Oh, Father. This cannot, it must not be the fate of those who are part of our immediate and extended family. Cannot, it must not be the fate the eternal destination for those who are part of our sphere of influence, the places where our jurisdiction ranges towards. So send labors and include us. Send us as labors as well. 
to those who have no awareness of you, have no witness of you, have no respect or recognition of, of you. And let our words, let our words and our tongues be used as a, as a pen of a ready writer. And let us write out matters in the words that we speak. Let us write out a script that is irrefutable and that cannot be turned away from their hearts or their minds or their thoughts. Let the words that we share, let the words of the labors that come across their paths and into their lives, let them become emblazoned, emblazoned, emblazoned upon their souls so that their hearts are changed and their spirits are born anew. So for every unsaved family member, near, immediate, far, extended, send laborers, Father, right now, even in this moment, even right now in this moment. And those who have backslid or slid back away from your love and your kindness and your goodness, and for whatever reason, they find themselves at odds with you or they find themselves questioning you or frustrated by you or just wanting to completely ignore you and push you out and keep you away from them, even their hearts, let light pierce and shine into their hearts right now. Hell was not created for mankind. No, no. That was for the enemy and the angels that followed him. But now they are recruiting, they're recruiting, they're recruiting in a last ditch attempt and effort, thinking somehow they'll amass hordes and an army, but it's not true. It can't happen, it won't happen. Because through death, Jesus defeated death. He defeated the enemy. And had the princes of this world known, they would not have crucified the Lord, but yet they did and fell right into your hands, Father. And so now, because of this plan of redemption being enforced, we have a right to enforce that plan of redemption on behalf of others with labor sent across their paths let words be spoken that carry and contain the very gospel in them and the faith and the belief to draw near to you and to ask you to be their Lord. Well, Father, you found yielded, willing vessels here. Yielded and willing vessels here. And so now the Lord wants to write things in people's hearts. He wants to write things in people's hearts, things that cannot be erased, things that cannot be removed, things that cannot be dulled by the circumstances of life, and writing things in the heart that are indelible, that cannot be overturned or removed. And so listen for a word written in your heart right now
A divine reason is a word in due season. When you hear a purpose behind the behavior, a purpose behind the action, a purpose folded within the vision, this will fuel you for years and years and years to come. A divine reason is a word in due season. Because you know why you're doing what you're doing, it'll stem the tide of doubt, wavering, and wondering. Because you have a divine reason, it'll empower you and perpetuate you throughout this season a divine reason when you heard these words about mantles being given what first came across your heart and mind you take a hold of that write it down think it through you'll find it is a part of your kind Mantles can be given for things public, but they can also be given for things in private. So there'll be times you'll need to pray and shout with the voice loudest, but there'll also be times it'll be done in quiet. Just like when you're putting together a jigsaw puzzle, you may see pieces here and pieces there. But the more you take hold of that reason, it'll pull all of those puzzle pieces together in that season. The things that don't make sense in this quarter of the year may not make sense in the next quarter of the year But once you get to the end of the quarter, you'll see there was really nothing to fear. Everything was working together for your good because he knows you love him so dearly. If you'll cast aside your lack of confidence about the matter, he's just inviting you to come near. And in the proximity of the Father's voice, you'll find out that the thing you are planning to do is the right choice. So don't back away and don't draw down your faith. the more you push in and persevere you see you're not doing it in haste you've been walking in steps one step here and one step there and every time of moving forward is an advance and it wipes away the care Time is now. The fruit is on the tree. And in the eyes of your mind and your heart, you'll begin to see things that bring guaranteed victory. Oh yes, some will say, that's strange, that's different. How could you go there in that direction? But just listen carefully to 
each instruction, revelation, and correction. Sometimes the pace will be quicker and sometimes slower. But time spent in his presence will give you clarity in your knower. You'll get to the place where nothing and no one can stop you from moving in the light of this truth. And you'll have a conviction and a commitment <laughs> that rivals that great woman of God known as Ruth. Wouldn't be turned back, even though her mother-in-law said, stay in your home country, child. But Ruth simply replied, where you go, I will go. Your God will be my God. Where you live, I will live. Where you die, I will die. And with great strength, she said it, it sounded mild. But receiving the mantle in the lineage of the Christ, she had a ferocity of spirit. a spirit of feist. She was willing to fight and hold on to that mantle. So you hold on to yours. This is not something the enemy can cancel. Now, if there's anything anyone else has something to say or to pray, of course, the mic is available for you to do that today.
This is from Psalms 111. I want to express publicly before his people my heartfelt thanks to God for the mighty miracle, for his mighty miracles, for his gifts, for his mantles, for his answer to prayer among us yesterday, today, and forever. God, thank you for looking at us and giving us your mighty miracles. All who are thankful should ponder them with, uh, with me, for his miracles demonstrate his honor, majesty, and eternal goodness. For his miracles demonstrate his honor, majesty, and eternal goodness coming from his heart to us, which imbues us with honor. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father. And we honor the work of the Holy Spirit within us. Who can forget the wonders he performs, deeds of mercy and of grace? He gives food to those who trust him. He never forgets his promises. He never forgets anything. Father, we honor you. We praise you. We acknowledge you as everything, the end all and be all of everything we adore. He has shown his great power to his people by giving them the land of Israel. Though it was the home of many people, of many nations, living there, all he does is just and good because he is good. He is just, he is honored. He is majesty in all that he does. He's imbued with miraculous power through his purity. And all his laws are right, for they are formed from truth and goodness. This is our God. This is the God we claim, the one that's imbued with truth and goodness, and his laws are imbued with these. And stand firm forever, and we will be beside him forever. He has paid a full ransom for his people, that's us. A full and perfect ransom. And now they are always free, us, to come to, Jeho to, come to Jehovah. What a holy, awe-inspiring name that is, Jehovah. Jehovah, God Almighty. How can men be wise? The only way to begin is by reverence for God, for making place for him, to bowing to him, to acknowledging him and obeying him. For growth and wisdom comes from obeying his laws. Praise his name forevermore. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
la bali a sotte, e 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 la bali a sotte, la lista, la trania, la piatto, la tocca, la santi, e la santi, e la bali a sotte, la mia bolla se capi, la domanda è bolla se capi, la risponde. Some of these mantles are mantles of sound. Some of the sounds that are to enter into the third have not yet been heard. I never run out of combinations of sound. My sound. Some of these sounds, sounds of song, sounds of music, sounds that have never been heard before, but now are birth, being birth. So now we
you can. about 10 minutes ago or so, but it just seemed like there was at least one more thing. Uh, I also did receive this, and, and I don't know, it may affect some watch in some of the room, but we're, we're going to receive uh, new members into the church on the first Sunday in June, so uh, you had mentioned about the one that you just mentioned a few minutes ago. Anyone else? So spread the word. I don't know if others who are looking at that, but June 1st will receive new members into the, the church. And the membership entails uh, raising your right hand and repeating a few words, but also uh, receiving what the Spirit of the Lord is saying in the services. If you can be in agreement with what has been released in the church during the weeks that you've been there, and I think you know, she has and others have. Um, at this moment, that's the, the requirements for membership. Now, we could do a class, but you know, class is every Sunday morning, basically. And then other times that we meet and gather together. So uh, did anybody else have anything else that the Lord was saying or speaking you sense to share? I mean, you don't have to share it on the live stream. We can talk amongst ourselves. But um, when we pray in the spirit like this, the Lord is, is wanting to say something wanting to enforce something through us so uh, if you do have anything if you'd like to hear or we can just there so I don't know if anybody's still watching or if we're still are we still live streaming yes okay so thank you for those who either watched live or if there was anyone watching live and then also uh, if you watch the recording of this and uh, if that resonated with you about mantles, see, there are mantles that were assigned in the earth. And when we say mantles, let's, don't get crazy about that. It's, it's, it's callings, it's purposes, it's vision, it's anointings. We can term it a lot of different ways, but mantle, you know, Elisha got a double portion of the mantle of Elijah. And so mantles are a real thing. The anointing is a real thing. So. If that resonated with you, anyone in the room, you need to pray out the mantle that God has placed on you. There's some songwriting, heaven songwriting mantles that are you know, obvious for some, but they're songwriting. You know, some people have written songs, they didn't even know they wrote a song. They just never released it. They may have sang it to themselves, but sometimes God wants those to be released in a wider range and scope of audience. So. Thank you for being here, those in the room. Thank you for those who have watched or are watching. And we will see you next time.